What's up, everybody? Back with another Herbal Reactions. Of course, y'all already know, man. If you didn't know, y'all need to find out. But yeah, um, yeah, we're here watching another episode of Outlander, episode five. Yeah, man, this is the show. It grew on me. It's a, you know, it's a slow burn, which is fine. Other, you know, there's a lot of slow burn uh, shows out there. Ozark is one of them. That show is a slow burn like a motherfucker. But that. It's a crazy show. If y'all ever seen Ozark, bruh, y'all know how crazy that is. But, um, yeah, let's just hop into this. Um, yeah, let's just hop into it. And you did. I've seen you at the hall. I'm Claire. Well, I'm very pleased to meet you, sir. Oh, this is lovely. Uh, is that goose feather? Well, it, it's swarm, actually. Tools of the trade, you see. And, uh, that, that bag is probably as rent. We trust I've got no argument with, uh, even goats, although one of them. Man, that's kind of crazy. Sometimes you don't even think about like that. Like Explicit. their wallets was on their freaking horses. Our wallets is in our pockets. We will not <laughs> accept live pigs. <laughs> As every year, the same season. Something in the wind sets my lungs afire. <coughs> You're allergic. May be able to help you. Do you have a pipe I could borrow? A <laughs> pipe. You'd have me smoke a pipe for a cough. <laughs> I got some. You could smoke. You'll see. He thought he coughed. It's thorn apple. Thorn apple, eh? <coughs> thorn apple. That's an English thing. <coughs> also known as Jimson weed. Ha! Ha! Ah, uh, hey, uh, okay. I want to rewind that for real, for real. Mm -hmm. Oh, oh well. How's that? That's remarkable. Hey, back up, we're leaving. Uh, you think that weed is good? Try this, Mary Jane. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Y'all know what I'm saying. You need to try some of this, Mary Jane. Or. <laughs> I would not want to be the one dude walking. Oh, hell no. Nah. I need me a horse. I'm curious, Mr. Gowan, what possessed a man of your qualifications to take up a post in these remote highlands. Well, as a young man, I studied law at the University of Edinburgh. And, uh, I determined the best course was to head off northwards, up the Skeen to the Highlands. And, uh, Thought that I might induce some clan chief to allow me to serve him. Uh huh. <coughs> no, 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 no. His father, Jacob, oh, you are much older than I appear, laddie. <laughs> no, but of course things were much less civilized. No, you you appear exactly how old you are. You probably like in your sixties. Civilization was less rampant upon the wild, bonny face of this land. Oh, you may be a man of the law, sir. You have the soul of a romantic. Although this newfound kinship with Ned would make my life on the road more tolerable. I bet. To distract me from my quest. Damn, that's a lot, bruh, to take with you. Turn to my own 20th century life. <laughs> what if they make a game like that? You know what I'm saying? Like... You could be at, like, you could uh, build up, like, you have to build up a kingdom and then you have to, like, send people out to get food and stuff like that. That'd be fun. Oh, hell no. And what are you thinking now? And he looks around and says, Looks like I've done a fine job. <laughs> Hmm. Just what I wanted. <laughs> Fucking squirrel. <laughs> Sleep on a pillow made of stone. <laughs> Y'all got salt. Y'all got some pepper. Be using garlic to excuse me. Ned, you make my clacking. Oh, yeah. 
I just had to remember my time with them would be over soon. Being on the road was my chance to escape. I, I guess. What is that? Bread? Cheese? I think that's cheese. Maybe that's bread. I don't, I don't know. I think it's bread. They hate me. They don't trust you. Damn. Throw some shade. Oh, that's disgusting. See, that's why motherfuckers had, they had to come up with songs like that. Oh, that's disgusting. That's disgusting. So fucking disgusting. But that's that's what they used to have to do to do what they had to do. I mean, shit. I hope y'all cleaned your hands. Ugh. Oh my god, that's what it to it. It's a uh, little secret. Oh. A word to the main folk. Well, my lips are sealed. Hmm. Did we wake a little? <laughs> okay, what you gonna do, boy? You gonna walk away, aren't you? Yep. But I feel like he's walking away to get a weapon. <clears throat> Say it. We're leaving. Yeah, he's getting a weapon. Oh. Oh, well, okay. <laughs> you want to watch your back around these drunken bastards showing a pair of pants like Don? Head to them. The watch would turn him over in a minute if they thought there was profit involved. Patriots until it profits them not to be. Their loyalty lies where the money lies. Off we go. Hmm. He do got a price on his head. I forgot about that. Ooh, that look good. Rotisserie chicken. Such a scene, too. Their stomach stolen food. Huh. Now don't sit with thieves. This way, okay? I will not be judged by an English lord. Ooh. Angus. Angus. She doesn't want it. Hold them up for us, huh? Like you near the place that you uh near that uh stone. Those are fighting words. For where I come from, we do. It doesn't matter where you come from. You're here. So I'm just to stand by and watch. You're not to judge things you don't understand. That too. That too. Yeah. Uh that's a good point. I, I did forget that, you know, she is from like 200 years from the freaking uh, future. So, yeah, obviously stealing ain't the thing to do in the 1900s and shit. But in the 1700s, that's 
That's a different story. So this is them getting rent from this place. Tarko. Looks poor. You come to me with empty pockets. What's going on? Fight court. Came through two days ago. Push the house. Do what they wanted. You know me, brother. Every year I pay what I owe to the Mackenzie. What is it that you're accusing me of? Ah, oh, shit. The lead, pound for your own pocket, and whatever you wish to call it. I call it clan business, and none of yours. Yeah, you need to mind your business, man. You in a place you're not you're not really familiar with, and you you're starting shit. <clears throat> hey, I get it though. I get it. I get it. The language is alien as ever, but the sentiment clear. Give us your money, and we will protect you from the English. Basically, full sight is it no? Christ, I'd die in my blood before I let that wee face sass and I use me so. But then my ears sparked to a name I'd heard somewhere before. Surely your uncle Lamb taught you some of this. What were you doing in the desert? Jack fight. <laughs> wow. But the Latin for James, since they were followers of King James II, the Catholic king dethroned by the Protestants. Sure. Oh, so y'all know y'all history. So, uh, I, though, to be fair, they knew their history way better than we okay, probably so ever did do at this a point. Lost cause, as it turns out. Probably not. Not a lot of them. She's just probably like an outlier. I don't know, because that's... ...to realize the activities Dougal and his men were involved in weren't criminal. They were political. He was using the shocking display of... Hmm, okay. Oh. Man, that's that's tough. That's tough. The next morning as I watched them pack I wished I could tell them that they were on the losing side of history, but it was all a pipe dream. The Stuarts would never unseat the Protestant King George II, but how could I tell them that? These proud, passionate men who lived and breathed for a flag of blue and white. Oh, shit. That'd be scary to look at. It's fine. Did I did I ever tell y'all I want a crow? I want a crow as a uh, pet. Probably a flock of them. <laughs> I think it'll be a cool pet to have. Tree. Uh. Even I knew. That this was not the work of the watch, but of the redcoats. They've been out here at least a week. More likely. 
for the smell of you bastards. Take them down. Wrap the bodies. We'll give them a proper Christian. A Jewish. Gebraram. Eran Fayin. Cure another chair crying. Ma. Mare Gunul. Verduragach. Duchasach. Here, Kadalaban Hua, Namruadaran. You know, this would be so much better if y'all just gave us the English. But you know what? I'll listen to it. I was gonna eat that. See, I... <laughs> don't take me back to there, bruh. Because <clears throat> I wouldn't take them serious. Oh, here we go. I wasn't sneaking about, I was sleeping. Or trying to. But sleeping what? here? Why? <laughs> Must you let me think oh. about That's the background of this. I'm like, shit, is somebody going crazy? Where I live, you gotta I gotta hear that shit. I gotta listen. <laughs> Maybe it was no guy. Well, I've picked up enough to understand what long live the steward. I'm sorry I stepped on you. Good morning, Miss McTavish. Morning, mistress. Now, if you excuse me, the horses will be needing their breakfast as well. I wonder what season two, three, four, and five, and six, and seven gonna look like. <laughs> like. I call, I've got a good coach again, check it. Cause. I've been up in my bar. This probably came out around the same time, uh, Ragnar not Ragnarok, um, Vikings came out, I think. of the future has already decided. Oat man is in his niche. But I would match our fighting hearts against the best army in the world. Fighting hearts don't stand a chance against cannons. She got a point. That's your opinion. And you're entitled to it. Alright. It's a don't. fact, Ned. No. History will never record the name of another Stuart King, but it will record the names of thousands of Highlanders who've died needlessly for a doomed cause. Bro. History be damned. You need to chill, bro. She needs to chill. <laughs> Oof. Ow. Damn. Hurt a bit. Bastard's fingernail was sharp as a boar's tooth. Gouged a hole in me. Mm hmm. Baby, I've tended to six year olds braver than you lot. Any excuse for a fight? You were the excuse. Me? It was.
was your honor we were defending. A lout called you a whore. Oh, okay. Well, then, uh... <clears throat> we can insult you. But God help any other man that does. I, I see how you I, I see where you go I'm coming from I see that I see that there I, am, in bed, I lightweight agree with that lightweight like they get jealous of each other stop arguing about who I'm going to swipe first. I wouldn't call my woman a, a bitch you know I wouldn't I wouldn't do that right. that's about all I believe she can call me one I don't care. <laughs> Cause motherfuckers gonna be like, nah, nah, never mind. Fuck that. Nah. Don't disrespect me like that. If I don't disrespect you, don't disrespect me. How the woman make a joke? Nah. The first time for everything. <laughs> I'd ride ahead. You can see how flat and open and boggy uh, it is. Uh, and the Highland Army was completely exposed and they then charged into the teeth of Musket fire, can What does that say? With nothing more than their broadswords, for the most part. No, that that's probably like Gaelic or something. Quick, very bloody. And the whole thing took less than an hour. How many were killed? Jacobites lost something in the region of 2,000 men. <whistles> but the interesting thing is that... Thank you. Thank you. Who are you? Huh? <laughs> An English lady of Oxfordshire. That's what you'd have us believe. But you would seem to be a lady of strong political opinions, eh? So harm in an opinion? You've seen things. On the road. You tell the red coats and we'll be bound for crosses just like the men we cut down. Working behind the cover of your woman's skirts to undermine the cause. I am trying to warn you. <laughs> warn me about what? What? Hmm? I'm trying to save your life. Madam. Oh, shit. Pleasure to see you again. And once more, I ask you. Hello again, officer. Lieutenant Jeremy Foster of His Majesty's Army. And this time, I do mean to ascertain the lady's well-being. The lady is none of your concern. And you are? Dougal Mackenzie. War chief and brother to call him. Laird of the Mackenzie clan and the lands. Tell me, madam, are you here by your own choice? Uh, um. That is a good question. That is a good question, man. I don't have an answer for you because it's a yes and a no. It's like, um, here because, um, I just so happened to find these people and they've been helping me out, but I have been wanting to leave here, but just cause I say I want to leave there doesn't mean that those, well, whoever them people are.
are going to take me to the stone. Or to her, her to the stone if I was her. But it's just like, tsh, tsh. that's a good question. Shit. <laughs> Guess we're going to find out what we're really going down. I wonder what she's going to say. I, she's going to say, um, yeah, I'm all right. I'm here on my own accord. Or, or, or she could say, no, I want to leave. But that could open a whole other can of worms, you know? But, yeah. I'm ready for it, you know? Hope y'all liked the reaction. If you did, like and subscribe. Leave a comment. Tell me what you think of this episode. Or tell me what you want me to watch next. And now, um, if you want to support the channel, please pre-order my book. It's in the, uh, the link is in the description. It's called Orion and the Green Flash. It comes out August 8th. And as always, thanks for watching. Deuces.